Hey everyone, I'm Jack7. I'm a professional extreme unicyclist and in today's video I'm going to be showing you five unicycle tricks that you can learn right now without even learning how to ride the unicycle. Tricks that you can do that are possibly easier than learning to ride itself. So the first and obvious trick in this list that you can learn without having to ride the unicycle is learning how to hop. Two of the other tricks on this list actually require you to know how to hop or require some form of hopping, so this is probably a good takeoff point. Now to hop on a unicycle, all you gotta do is hold the front of the saddle, also known as the handle, with one or two hands, and then keeping your feet in a flat position, parallel to the ground, you just wanna start hopping. It's, it's a pretty intuitive trick. There's a ton of tutorials out there for this one, and also some of my previous videos that briefly explain hopping. So I'm just gonna go right into number two. The second trick on the list, you could probably bypass even learning how to hop and go right into this one. And that is learning how to hop on the tire or learning how to 90 uni spin. You put your hands on one side of the unicycle saddle, no crossing your hands over or no hands on each side. You wanna keep both hands on the same side of the saddle and then you're gonna spin the unicycle 90 degrees landing on the tire. Now, you don't even have to do the 90 uni spin part. You could just start by learning how to hop on the tire itself. It's a pretty simple trick and it's a really fun one to do despite how scary it might look or as intimidating as it seems. It, it's not too bad once you get the hang of it. The third trick on this list is a trick that many of my skater friends and friends at the skate park who do extreme sports, they can usually get on my unicycle and do these two tricks. They can hop pretty quick probably within a few minutes they can learn how to hop and number two I've seen some of them do this trick and that is the 180 uni spin as the name suggests it's just like the 90 uni spin except you're completing the spin and you're going 180 degrees instead of 90 and instead of landing on the tire you're, you're landing back on the pedals with this one you might not even have to learn how to hop like you could just step onto the cranks and immediately 180 uni spin and then just step off so you might not even have to learn how to do hopping and it's, it's not even necessary really, but it looks a lot nicer and it'll be a lot easier for you if you know how to hop in place before going for this trick. And if you wanna learn this trick, I actually have a really thorough in-depth tutorial that I made that's on my channel. I'll put a link in the description or a link in the top corner. <laughs> Check it out. This number four trick is actually in a completely different category from all the other tricks. You don't even need to learn how to hop. You, it has nothing to do with spinning the unicycle or taking your feet off or jumping at all. And that trick is the frame stall. This is basically a trick where you put the unicycle on the ground and you just stand on the frame with your feet while holding onto the tire and the handle. There are a few people who have done some pretty creative stuff with frame stalls. Uh, the first guy that comes to mind off the top of my head is Ivar Christensen. He's done some really, really insane combos with this trick. And if you want a link to the full length video that this combo is in, I'll put a link in the description as well. And the final trick on this list is a personal favorite of mine, which I think will probably get a little bit of slack. <laughs> some people might not really like this trick being on here. But that trick is the uni toss or just uni manipulations. It's basically just playing with the unicycle and manipulating it. It's just kind of fun to experiment with and as you can see here I kind of just mess around with it a little bit and it's pretty fun. As you can see here I was trying to get doubles. I got a one and a half but uh yeah I ended up busting my pedal so that was pretty annoying. How stupid! <laughs> And that, my friends, is five unicycling tricks that you can do without even having to learn how to ride a unicycle. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video, and I'm super excited to see you in next week's video. Peace.